Hey guys, I'm Caution Curb, and welcome to how to put your own or how to make your own custom themes onto your PSP. So if you don't know what a theme is, just hold on here. A theme is icons that replaced the icons before. So as you can see, I have Dragon Ball Z icons right now. It's pretty cool, eh? So now I'm going to tell you how to make your own themes. So what you're going to do is go on your computer, open up your, your web browser, open up a new tab if you want, go to Google. I got Google. And here, you're going to type in P. SP themes. Click it. First one right there. The first one. Click it. And here's a little place that where you download the theme creator from right there. Or you can download other people's themes that they've made. It's a pretty cool site. You should check it out when you're not watching this vid. There's over like, I don't know, two, 3,000 themes right here. Okay, maybe not. But I'm going to teach you how to make your own. So we go click here on the sidebar where it says PSP Theme Creator. Click it, and then over here, it should say this little thing here. You want to save the file and press OK. I already did that. So I'm going to show it to you guys now. And it should show up on your desktop or your documents wherever you want it to go. It should be right there. Custom, PSP, blah, blah, blah. You want to double click it. And that should open up. There's two little things there. Because then there's a folder and some looks like some kind of notepad. Now click on the, double click the folder. And then there'll be a uh, this Adobe thing and um, this window. You're gonna click on the window, double click it. It says extract all, blah blah blah. You press run, and then run again. And then here you go. PSP theme converter or custom. Blah, I can't talk today. So basically, what it is is you make your own. <coughs> PSP theme. You give it a title, I'll give it P S P theme one. Product ID I don't know, don't enter that. Version I don't really know, four point oh oh. Just put that randomly. Wallpaper, that's the thing at the back. You press that. Um, where's my mouse? That folder button to go to your pictures or whatever you have I don't even yeah this isn't on my regular computer because I don't have I don't have any good pictures on here oh boy oh boy yeah I really don't have any f pictures so I probably won't demonstrate this but I'll just go through it with you guys so you'll have uh, a picture here and category icons and these are those regular icons that you'll see the the six ones those are those six and you can go click on one like that edit icon body and then you go to that and get another picture so then you move on first level icons this is all that stuff that you need to, to operate your PSP. You can change all that just by clicking on it. Edit. Yep. Preview, I guess. You can preview what it looks like. Second level icons. I don't know what that means, but edit. Yeah. 
and press that arrow to go back and forth. Others. Preview icon, preview image, and theme color. I think preview this stuff is that when you put on that PSP themes website right here, if you choose to put it on, like this picture that they show, that's kind of like a preview, I think. Yep. So, uh, yeah, there you have it, how to make your own PSP theme. Oh, yeah, and probably w when you're done, go to save. File F. Save. And then I'm, I'm guessing, I haven't made a theme yet, but I probably will. I'll post it. It'll save to your desktop. And then, once it's on your desktop, desktop, you plug it into your PS, you plug your PSP into your computer, and just transfer that onto your PSP, into your PS, into your themes folder, and then you just go to theme settings, and then you're there. You'll have your own custom theme. So there you go. You want to close this application? Yes. Comment, subscribe, subscribe, rate, yep. See you guys later.